No. No. She's late. A damn game or something, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she might not show up for all we know. That's true. It never fails to amaze me what guys will go through to meet a girl. I mean, if you have to call in MTV's catfish, maybe she's not worth meeting. I mean, you're definitely already sus that this isn't the real person, and you should probably stick with your instincts, cut them off, walk away. But I like to think these people are just super optimistic and not desperate, like love isn't dead and this person is real. And I'm not saying a bar is the best place to pick up women, but it's probably a better chance of finding a real person than, you know, the internet. And there's probably a less likely chance that you're going to get shamed on national television, which is always a plus in relation relationships. What's crack a and everybody? It's Thundros here, coming at you with the cringy catfish content. I know, usually it's old people on Dr. Phil giving away their money that we make fun of, but I mean, there's an entire show dedicated to this, and I, I just feel like I've underutilized it. And when people think that girls looking like this are into them when they look like this, I, I just, I, I don't know, I just think it's hilarious. And remember, I used to work in a phone store where people would come in on the daily, show me a picture of a model, be like, that's my girlfriend, I talked to her on WhatsApp, and I sent her $200 the other day. So I've got a lot of pent-up shade to release on the topic. As as usual though, before we start, like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell, or that Instagram model you've been DMing will never get back to you. I know she hasn't responded yet, but who knows, hitting those buttons might just increase those chances. But let's get to making fun of a classic catfish episode. Ah, oh, here comes the car, guys. Alright, who's inside? I can't even fathom being in this situation, waiting for a specific car, being like, oh my god, is this a girl, is this a girl, or oh wait, is that a guy? The second you had to call Catfish, I feel like that should have been the tick in your brain, being like, okay, yeah, no, time to terminate the relationship. Like, this is a giant red flag if this is what it takes to meet her. And I'm speaking from experience here, there are some pretty great and fairly attractive girls willing to date some pretty moderate guys. But you've got guys like this that are praying for their tick thoughts and Discord girlfriends that probably watch enough tentacle hentai to fill SeaWorld. Uh oh. Wait a second. Kind of. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's clearly not the girl you were looking for, so why you're still sitting here is beyond me. Also, did you see the way this guy rolled up? Like, that is a person on a mission. He comes speeding in here like he's Lightning McQueen, probably saying ka -chow in his head as he parks. Like, he is hyped to tell this person, I have been the woman you loved for months. And Catfish is here to give them an audience. What a hype day for this person. This is so dramatic, I thought I was watching Dr. Phil. Like, he's coming out of his car, hitting the top, he's like, this is my show, this is my time. It's a great skill that you can entice another man. The dude really waited for television cameras before he revealed himself. What if this was his plan all along? He just really wanted to meet Nev from Catfish, but now he's gotta give him a whole show. This dude. I mean, it seems like a pretty bad Heath Ledger Joker impression, which, too soon, man, too soon. Okay, but I love how this guy's coming out here like it's the WWE. He wants to seem raw like an unsanitized bat in 2020. Meanwhile, the catfishy is still trying to wrap his head around the situation. Like, bro, you got duped. Go home. Hey, man, you want to chill out a second? Shh. Excuse me. Shit, man. For real. Don't touch me. Better back Seriously. up. Man. Don't touch me. Better back up. What kind of is this? Don't better chill out, man. I love that the catfish is the aggressor here. He's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do not touch me. He's acting high and mighty for a person with less high ground than Anakin. I'm really hoping they start a fight in the park. My money's on the catfish. This dude, he just, I don't know, something about him. He's got moxie. He might be the antagonist, but he's definitely winning this fight. What the f kind of is this, man? We're talking. Him and I are talking. Yo, f hey, you a f I was like, he and I are fing. I love Nev, but what does he think he's going to do here? Like, do you guys think that catfish is above kicking those crutches out from under him? Like, I would just back up, keep the cameras on them, and hope for something that'll give you some good ratings. This is one of the few shows keeping MTV alive. They might want to spice it up a bit. Excuse I'll just me. tell you one thing right now, Excuse buddy. Me. One thing you're gonna like, you're gonna learn to love it too. What the hell are you talking what, about, what's dude? What's going on? I'm gonna be the one wearing the pants in this one. Understand yeah, that? Yeah, dude, you're, what what kind of is you're this? being... This catfish really came out of his car and declared prison rules on this guy. I'm gonna be the one wearing the pants in this one. Understand yeah, that? Dude. Like, what is that even supposed to mean? Are you gonna slide in a little more than his DMs? Like, I'm not trying to judge here, but the perpetrator's more angry than the victim. There better be a pretty good story here. Unreasonable. Straight up. The kind of is this? I'm just asking you to take it down a couple notches. 
Hey, you brought a lot of attitude. By the way, a lot of attitude last night. Thanks a lot. Really felt it too. You and I got to know you better. I loved it. Is the catfish just like having a stroke here? Like, does, does he even know where he is? Oh uh, yeah, you know, we got to know each other, yeah. Meanwhile, Nev's giving him this face like, bro, what, what are you talking about? Like someone should call this man an EMT. I think he's having an actual brain aneurysm. That or early onset Alzheimer's. I can for sure say that boy ain't right. But I'll tell you what, you and I, we could do that later. Come here, we're gonna talk. You what the we got, we ain't really, we ain't got till we don't talk to you, baby. Are you kidding me? You could still be my chocolate kiss too. You don't forget about that, baby. Racism in that last comment aside, I'm starting to think the catfish wants this dude. How sweet is it that he can still be his chocolate kiss? I mean, if they want to continue living that fantasy, it's great to know that offer's on the table. Who knows, the daily affirmation might actually help their confidence. I say they should give it a try. Come on. Come on, what the is that? Do you know this Do you know this guy? No, I don't know this guy. Are you Jess? Yeah, I'm Jess. You're Jess. Yeah. He is really into this role. He's like, yeah, I'm Jess as he feels through his hair. Like, bro, if you're gay, just say you're gay. I mean, it's 2021. We're very accepting here. Word of advice, though, this might not be a great way to find a good man. Maybe I should make an entire dating video for him. Would anyone be down for that? Just me rattling off some dating advice? Maybe go live, answer a few questions? Man, what, man? I mean, this, this that, there. That's what I had. I don't get what he perceives he has. It just feels like a really roundabout way to come out of the closet. You know, most of these catfishes do it for revenge, but this guy just seems mad the victim exists. Maybe the catfish just needs a hug. Does anyone want to volunteer as tribute? So much anger, buddy. Let it go. What kind of is that, man? Oh, hell no. God. Does anyone even want to imagine the conversations that led to this kind of reaction? The text chats are probably filled with, I'm gonna be like two inches deep in you and we're gonna start a family together. But now the rug's been pulled out from under him and he's like, no, I'm never gonna get that. I mean, I feel bad for him, but at the same time, maybe just go out and meet girls? Like I promise people, they are not as scary as they seem. Not everything is as it seems. Not everything you see or want it to be can be exactly what you want it to be. And I am living proof of that. And I felt that. And I felt the necessity to put myself out there. We're sitting here at a battlefield and this guy's going, everything's not as it seems, man. Like exactly what did he take before he showed up to this meeting? You go through this entire debacle and these are the answers you get. I would be pissed. Homie really showed up on a different plane of existence and I hope somebody smacks him down. What are you so angry about? Come on, the guy's got a family and he's talking to me? He thinks he's talking to some broad? But he did think he was talking to a girl. Exactly. As, right. So you're, you're a good actress. He's a good actress? I mean, come on here. He was just texting and I am mean, It's not like he went on video chat, wore a very convincing outfit, and used a great voice. Like, don't go handing out Golden Globes here, Nev. This guy's probably a worse actor than Megan Fox. Sure, I like that. Yeah, why not? That's Oh, hell no. What's your name, by the way? You, you skipped that. My name's Justin. Oh, I'm gonna take a, take a stab at this. Sure. You're gay. See, I'm glad I'm not the only one that came to that conclusion. You know, now that I'm thinking of it, why didn't he just tell the guy's family? Like, were you just trying to teach him a lesson? You know, not break up the family? I, I feel like you could have just been like, hey, dude, yeah, he's been flirting with me. Maybe Justin really just wanted this dude. I'm not judging. I mean, it's his life. I would have just asked him out. But I mean, hey, you do you, bro. Obviously, I'm not gay. Well, it's not so obvious. I mean, you, you, you are pretending to be a girl online and, and having a romantic relationship with a guy, so. I give it to you. You got me there. Right. This went from straight up denial to, oh, hmm, maybe. A catfish encounter with this dude possibly coming out of the closet is not the way I saw this going. He came out here with a bone to pick and now he's smiling laughing with Nev like, I mean, you're not wrong. For real, the hosts might just be master facilitators. They're wasting their time being on television. Like going to corporate mediation, I would sit down anywhere with Nev. But I'm gonna start wrapping this crazy story up. I mean, look at this dude. This has just been, this has been like a roller coaster. We started with a guy looking for love with a beautiful woman just for a man to show up angrier than a lion with the thorn in his paw, and then we find out the love seeker is cheating on his entire family. And on top of that, the catfish might be gay. If I actually had to spend money to watch this, I would say I got my money's worth. We got enough drama that it's like Maury and Dr. Phil had a crossover episode. Which, by the way, I would be completely down for. Please, guys, do that. I, it's Maury even still on the air. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe as usual. You know I always appreciate that, and I'm trying to hit that 5,000 subscriber goal before the end of October. By the way, gotta have a huge shout out to my fans. We went from 4,600 to 4,600. 
3700 within like five days and I, I'm still geeking out, okay? So thank you very much. On that note though, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe. And until next time, this is Thundro signing off.